Diane, please, love. We need to talk about this. Shift. Diane, you might have cancer, but you're not deaf. Mrs. Blackstock's asked to see you all downstairs. He said she was in there. She's fine. She's having afternoon tea. Have you got Nicola's number in your mobile? I think Victoria's got mine. Tell Diane I'll be down in a minute. Jack, I'm scared. We'll try not to show it. Let go, will you? You'll have to pull me in two. Why? So you can grow another head to torment us with. Face it, Fatso. I'm going nowhere until you've apologised. Me? I've come all the way over here to save you from a failed marriage. You could at least say sorry for having no intention of getting hitched to the witch in the first place. What kind of twisted logic's that? Mine. So you're quite comfy, are you? Hold up for the duration. Good. Enjoy yourself. Where are you going now? There's more than one way to catch a fish. Don't wait up. Simon, come here. Oh, get off me, Welly. Ah. Put a cork in it. I can't. If you don't stop blubbing, this kipper's going straight up your kyber. <laughs> Afternoon. I'm so sorry, love. So you should be, accusing me like that. I didn't mean about him. Well, I did. I might have slipped up with him once, but he was a lot younger then. Thank you very much. Any time. Big gob. They had a right to know. And I've got a right to privacy. Running off won't help. Won't it? The biggest test of my life and my nearest and dearest turn out to be the Three Stooges. We're a lot less funny. I've got a right to some thinking time, haven't I? I'll do it anything you like. Kidneys, me bone marrow, tongue. Anyway, it's colon cancer. I know, what if I could give you me bowels? Not at the tea table, Valerie. How long have you known? Since Tuesday. Colon's one of the better ones, though, isn't it? A breeze. No, all I'm saying is it's not a major organ. All them hours spent watching daytime TV's finally paid off. I know you're going to have to have someone to pick on. That's treatable, that's what I'm saying. That's right, it is. When does the treatment start? You're not going to be daft about this, I hope. I'll take whatever treatment I'm given. So when does it start? I've got to have more tests first. Oh, God, no. Give her a cuddle, Rodney. The need to find out. I have to wait a while. What tests? There's just a chance it might have spread. <laughs> Ooh, must have taken you years to learn how to do that. A real skill, eh? This is just like home, really. Me, you, and a tiny tiddler. Yeah, well, if you think it's so easy... Well, it must be if you can do it. And don't even think about chucking me in. I'd hate to disappoint you by being able to swim. <sighs> so difficult. I don't know how you boys do it. Put me arm up in the air, will you all copy? It's just that we... Nobody knows what to do or say. Yes, I gathered that. I'll help you pack. No! Please. I want you all to listen carefully. Fire away. Only us four here know about uh, the situation. I'll tell Louise when she gets back. Me, Valerie, not you. I can keep a secret. Your nose job's growing. I don't want anyone else finding out until I've had all the tests and I know where I stand. OK? And now I'm going home. Get the bill, Rodders. It's the least you can do. And big smiles when you come into the pub or you're all barred. I'm taking it back. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
yourself. You deceived her with me. Why shouldn't it happen the other way around? <laughs> I'm sorry. Getting carried away about you and Rodney. I expect Val gave you a helping hand. I don't want to have this conversation again. I'd rather you and him were having an affair. Anything but this. Are you listening? I'll take you home. No, I'm fine. Oh, don't push me away. I'm not saying that to get at you. You've got Victoria waiting and I'm just not ready for that yet. Honestly, I'd rather travel with the ugly sisters. Okay. If you insist. I do. Come and see me later at the pub. Bye, love. I've just been thinking. Sadie is going to be after this gaff next. Yeah, that's if Zoe has decided to sell Petri. But Zoe's not well, is she? Yeah, I know that. She's my kid's mum. Mm. And that's your kid's inheritance being flogged off cheap, isn't it? Listen, for all we know, Zoe and Sadie might have shaken on him months ago. I mean, it's only house, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. See ya. Bring Danny. What for? To apologise. I think not. Oh, yeah, you're obviously far better off without him. Look how happy you are. You're going down, you slang. Oh, God, she's gone all sweetie again. Jury service. I will have the streets cleared of scum in minutes. Hope there's a juicy murder. Just one problem. Yeah? It's the same week as we're going away, we'll have to cancel. Mum! Citizens have duties, Donna. I'm sorry, love, but they'd arrest me. <laughs> they'd probably arrest you anyway for bossing the judge about. That's my boyfriend, and my holiday gone in one fell swoop. Another time, I promise. Well, maybe you could take a friend. I don't have any friends. Well, there's no need to apologise. Everything's fine. All I was trying to say was... Sorry, what, that? No, that was, um... A passing donkey. Yeah, no, the, the thing is, Jack, I don't want to put any fresh on, but, you know, tonight's my night off, and I've got a few smalls to rub through at home, so... Yeah, yeah, no, we're fine. Is everything all right, Jack? Jack? Why didn't you tell Dad about Thomas? Your dad, your donkey, you tell him. Jealous? I'll take over now. You said I could do it. I'd rather you'd just gone. You're a liar. You know this place like the back of your hand. You could have scooted off anywhere, but you let yourself be found. You're just too stubborn to say you want me. Could be one good reason why I'd want you. Because I'm the only woman stupid enough to have you for a start. You tasha the slappers only after your money for a stupid fish shop. There's nothing stupid about fish. And you've only got two topics of conversation. One's marine life and so's the other. Now, you might have run off here to escape me, but maybe I'm the one who's had the lucky escape. Fine. Yeah, it is, actually, because I don't need you, you fish-obsessed person. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Simon? <laughs> Simon, I need you. Simon! Simon! Oh, just drop it, just let it go. Oh, you might be a quitter, Nicola Blacksock rolls over for no one. Oh, my God, I'm going to die! Mary and Joseph, my two favourite people. It was staring at your woman before. I was not, I was, I was not. <laughs> Stop wriggling around. You're not a fish on a hook. Here you go. Oh, cheers. I'm totally cleaned out. We've not had any tea. I just... <laughs> See? That didn't hurt. How do you think of the name Thomas? I've always wanted to call her Donkey Horty. Oh, God. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Donkey Horty? You're not Get it. No, but I get flirty when I see it. Oh, she's... Have you seen Nicola at all? Last seen heading for our Simon's boat. Oh, really? Best leave it to it then, huh? Do you think she'd make a decent sister-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh. Anyway, <laughs> she told me about your wife. Right. Said how much you loved each other. You must still be gutted. Quite an upset expression from a fish filleter. I'll be with you in a minute, Mother. Yank it! Yeet! Oh. 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 oh, it's a lover! Hey, I'd like to see any of you lot land this on your first time. Whew. If it weighs £12, 
I'll ask you to marry us. It weighs 13, I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she had arms like a navvy! <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? My lad's girlfriend. Oh, you're, you're just, no, this 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 is Bonnie, Simon's sister. What the hell are you playing at? Look at the state of her. You like my donkey? Oh, it's not your donkey, Jack. Never mind, Jack. Get rid of that while I get her into the car. And where's Nicola? Well, get in the car and get your seatbelt on. No, this is, it's not like him, he's a really good bloke. Could you... Come back next year, he'll still be here. Hold on! Um, who are you? Me. I'll never go anywhere, man. Good. Do you know what, I'm... I'm just... I think I'll be coming back next year myself. I'm look after him, Dad. You're just not being fair. Life isn't fair. You tell her. Probably know better than most. I'm pointless in her eyes. Home the truth. You're a very brave woman. It must be to be with him. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot you was just on for a second. <laughs> you look so young. We sell fish, love, not tripe. 12.3. Oh, well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> I take it as a yes, then. <laughs> Can I go home now? I'm Ming. <laughs> 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 Ten minutes without a sound. Well done. That's got to be a record, Val. Oh, no. Dash. And remember, not a word. I'll call you if I need anything. Bye, love. Thanks, Rodney. <laughs> Hello, all. Hey, we're not expecting you back till tomorrow. Oh, it didn't go on as long as we thought, and if you can get out of an overnight with Rodney, you would, wouldn't you? No matter. Oh, I tell you, but I can't be chewed. I'm just going to go and get changed. <coughs> me thinks a little problem, perhaps. Yeah, and me thinks she stopped speaking weird. Can I have half a pint of lager, please, Bob? Look, I'll get it. Go and sit down. Look, Bob, how's Donna? Miserable. A bit like him, then. I came back and the place was deserted. Oh, just leave it, will you, son? I was worried sick. You've got a mobile, haven't you? Yeah, but you haven't. You're some kind of mobile klepto, you. I wish Milo was my brother. Yeah, so do I. He's much funnier than you. We'd have to be looking like him. You are right. Let's not mention to Robert how upset I was, okay? What? If only I could have a donkey. <laughs> or a new bike. No, Val, we don't need you, honestly. It's like a Morgan here. It was a perfectly innocent expression. Pull yourself together. One. Anyway, I don't even like you. Good job, because here's Danny. Danny, this is Donna. She had a face like a bum all day, so you two should get along fine. Uh, where are you going? Seeing Bob in a bit. See ya. There you go. That's better. Donna would like to talk to you, Danny. No, I wouldn't. 
What she means is she's sorry for not considering your feelings about Ollie going off like that. No, I don't. And making light of something which must have been a very hard situation for you, very painful. But, uh, did I really come across that callous? Yep. But I'm sure that you can find a way to make it up to him. Could I? Maybe. <clears throat> Perhaps a little trip? Somewhere special? OK. Um, do you fancy hotting for chips? Oh, if you need a job doing, how do you fancy a trip to Italy? Bob, will you stop muscling in? We've only just got back together. No, with you, you flaming idiot! All right, yeah. <laughs> with me, it's all paid for. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. <laughs> New busy mate, Victoria. Hey, Marla. Hi, Paul. All sorted with your dad. Yeah, he said he was just under the weather. Y yeah, well, we've been all a long day, haven't we? And he's getting me a new bike. Ah, the purity of love and a big fat bribe. Still, a bit quiet in the donkey, I suppose. So, what do you want? Hmm? Nothing, nothing. Just popped in for a quick chat. <laughs> She's fancy, you know. Do you think so? Oh, you know, I thought she did too. Um, oh, good. You know, because I'm totally out of practice, so... Yeah, that's great. Mm. Do you think she did? <laughs> Just looking for attention now. Evening, Jack. Bob? Did you get back all right, Diane? Fine and dandy. Come through the back. Right. Odd. You seriously cannot walk around with that rictus grin on your face. You'd have less chance of giving the game away if you walked in and said, guess who's got cancer? Diane. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. My partner's ill, but I'm not allowed to discuss it or show concern in any real way in case she loses control for one millisecond. So I took it all out of my daughter and a flaming donkey. Everything's fine. What donkey? Some bloke gave it to Victoria. George. He tried to get me to take it, no. Is Victoria OK? Well, she is now. She's getting a 200 quid bike to cheer her up. You didn't tell her about me, did you? Why don't we call the wedding off? If you want to. Well, of course I don't want to. Then why say it? Because I know you. You'll question me and question me about who I've looked at and in what way and who have I spoken to and might I have mentioned something. And eventually you'll hear what you need to because I will slip up at some point. And then you'll, you'll accuse me of letting you down and betraying you and you'll call the whole thing off yourself. How could you think I would tell a kid, a kid who's lost a mother already, that the woman she now thinks of as a mother... If you imagine, for one second, that I would tell Victoria without the both of us there to reassure her... I'm sorry. So am I. I do want to help you. I don't know how to let you. Well, I don't know how to do it anyway, so... we're supposed to do? Sit here and wait for the phone to ring for the next set of instructions. Yes. If that's what she wants. She needs support and people to share it with. If it was me, I'd be shouting it from the rooftops. I'm home! Not a word, Val. I'll see what I like. Maria! Get out! All right. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I know I stink a bit, but who cares when you're engaged? Fantastic! Who <laughs> too? Simon, who do you think? I'm really happy for you. <sighs> ah, see, she's happy and all. Trust you to spoil the moment. Just upset. No, what about? Diane. She told Rodney not to get us a facelift, so he isn't. Well, praise be to Diane, then. Anyway, you've got my wedding to pay for now. <laughs> I'm off for a bath. Well done, sweetheart. I'm not happy, Rodney. Ah, well. You wouldn't be you if you were. I knew something was wrong. Did you? Well, why do you think I turned up in Scarborough? 
And you've got to take some responsibility for me getting the wrong end of the stick about Rodney. Here we go. Well, for weeks, you were constantly sloping off saying you needed a toilet. I did. Well, I know that now, but I didn't then. I thought you were avoiding me. Like you obviously had something or someone else on your mind. And when you love someone and they withdraw from you, everything goes cockeyed. I mean, how could I ever have worked out that you didn't seem that bothered about the wedding preparations because you had cancer? I suppose, when you put it like that... But if you want to keep it a secret, fine. But you've got to be straight with me. And you have to understand that sometimes you're the last person I want to talk to because I need to keep a bit of dignity and a diseased colon is not something you associate with that. Have you never wondered why Gucci don't do a line in colostomy bags? Hardly an alluring prospect, is it? OK, OK. Whatever happens, we'll muddle through as best we can. I'm not trying to cut you out. I know. But sometimes it will be easier for me to talk to Louise or Val or even Rodney because they don't matter like you do. Oh, well, I'm getting it. You can stop now. No wedding cancellations, then? Only if you tell Victoria she can't be bridesmaid. <laughs> Don't mind a bike. I have to buy a flaming car. <laughs> <laughs>